Hola photographers, this is I take pics with the light capture box guy.com. Here to show you a review of the TechArt Pro adapter for the Sony FE mount cameras. I'm going to go over why I bought it and how it works. So here we go, starting off, this is a, what the adapter looks like. Noticed I took off an LA EAs 4, uh, probably previous to this. And you notice I um, actually mounted this. This adapter is actually not compatible with the uh, Sony grip. So, what I ended up doing was uh, buying a um, third party aftermarket grip and ended up dremeling down the, uh, the tightening screw so that things would actually fit. So, here's an M mount. 40 millimeter lens that I usually have on my Minolta CLE just pops right on. All right, so let's take a look. This is uh, the firmware that came with the uh, adapter. It's 3.0. I'm using back button focus. So something near, something a little bit less near. So it's okay. It's not as fast as the LAEA4 adapter that I have with uh, some of the legacy Minolta glass. Okay, as you can see here, I'm going to be mounting the 28 millimeter lens. We'd expect this to focus a little bit easier since it's a wider field of view. And just as a note of reference, I'm shooting all of these lenses at their maximum aperture. This one is a 2.8. <clears throat> Great. And uh, just to go over why I purchased this, I wanted something that would act as a digital back for my film cameras when I'm out. Uh, before this, I was actually, or still do, shoot like Rear Four Thirds, um, and I have a GM5, which is really small. I like carrying it with me. At the same time, it's another set of lenses uh, that I have to carry with me, and so I thought it might be interesting to see uh, if I could shoot with the existing legacy lenses. All right, so this is something I got in addition, which is an additional purchase, but I got a OM to Leica M mount adapter that they sold at the time and I thought I would try that as well because sometimes I do like to shoot with the OM for obvious reasons the uh, difference between a rangefinder and a SLR for composition makes a big difference so we got the 28 millimeter Zwicko lens and it's focusing at about the same speed as the other ones And here's the 50 millimeter. And I wanted to leave this in the video and you'll see, this is the issue you're gonna run into when you start to hit the minimum focus distance on any of these. The neat thing about this is it does effectively act like a bellows or extension tube. So I'm basically doubling up the extension tube by <laughs> going past the infinity. I should note that the way this works is you set your lens to infinity and let the autofocus adapter do the rest. Okay, now that I changed it to adjust the minimum focus distance, it now works. The OM lenses will not work as well as the M lenses based on the way the lenses are designed. I could go into those details, but I'm not that technical, so you can read up on that. And last up is the 135. I just wanted to show you that it does work. Uh, I can focus it no problem. The only issue you're gonna notice here is I had a hard time 
actually getting back far enough to uh, get this stuff in focus. So anything, any delay you notice is actually me trying to, uh, or actually me at the minimum focus distance limits. And you'll see here I have to go all the way to the minimum focus. And also I'm showing you how I've set up the A7 II to uh, manually adjust the image stabilization in body. There we go. Great. Works. And all of these are still 3.0 firmware. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to briefly go over how you update the firmware. There's some steps missing. It's not that straightforward, but it is documented on their website. Basically, what you need to do is set the camera to F90. So you're going to see me do this. You've got to rock it all the way over to F90. Then you're going to depress the shutter. Then you need to turn the camera off. The next thing you need to do is turn on Bluetooth on your phone. Make sure you turn off your auto sleep feature so your phone never goes to sleep. And you hit the update button on the bottom and you'll notice that there's a progress bar. It takes about a good five to seven minutes. Once it's done, you'll see there's a success. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, update after the firmware. So now we're at 4.0. This is with a 28 millimeter Nolta. There we go, it's pretty good. And it's gonna be a little tricky to see the difference. Uh, so here's the 40 millimeter Voigtlander. I have to change the minimum focus distance again. I'm a little too close on this one. There we go, good. Yeah, it looks good. I just wanted to point out that it's hard to see in this video, but the difference between three and four is the there's less of a stepper motor. It feels uh, like it's a smoother transition and more natural. I feel like this 4.0 is pretty much on par with what the LA EA4 experience is like, if anyone shoots with that. Great, here's the 50 millimeter, and this is a pretty big lens with the adapter. No problem. And then lastly is the 135. This is funny. This is a part of this. I actually have to back up my chair. Here we go. Back up my chair. And now I've hit the minimum focus distance. And it's good to go. All right. And for the last set, this is me trying to show what the difference is side by side. Up top you're going to see the 3.0 firmware and down below is the 4.0 firmware. This is with the Voigtlander. It's actually fast that I can't really see it's already focused on the bottom one. But I have to actually slow the uh, other one down to show the three. There it is. About the same there, and you can see it's much faster to pull into there. It's pretty non-scientific, but it definitely feels smoother. It doesn't feel like it's jerking in. There's a little bit more of a pump pumping action or a pulse action with the original. Here are some sample images I've taken with it so far. And that's pretty much it. I've been pretty pleased with the adapter so far. I really think this 4.0 is going to make a big difference. And that last one was taken with the 4.0 firmware. You can see more pictures here. Thanks for watching.